Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. I think by now you guys know just how much I love wraps. I mean meat and vegetables in bread, what's not to love? And today I'm going to show you how to make a Japanese inspired chicken wrap. And what makes this Japanese? Well, I'm using some wasabi, I'm using some pickled ginger and trust me guys, it's going to be delicious. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is marinate our chicken and I'm using boneless chicken leg meat. You can also use chicken breast if you like. I'm going to marinate it with some Japanese soya sauce, some dark soya sauce, some cooking sake and some white pepper. And I give it all a good mix. Now just let that marinate. For our wrap, I'm going to pickle some cucumbers. And to do that, I will use my mandolin to slice the cucumber and I'm going to slice it really thin for this. But you can slice it to your desired thickness. And if you don't have a mandolin, you can just use your knife. Once that cucumber is sliced, it's time to pickle it. I put the cucumbers into my bowl. I season them with some salt. I add a wee bit of sugar, which is optional and some rice wine vinegar but you can also use lime or lemon juice and of course then I give it all a good mix after which I will pop it in the fridge to chill. It's time to make some wasabi mayo for our wrap and that obviously starts with some wasabi. To that I add some low fat mayo but if you don't mind the calories use regular mayo and then some toasted sesame oil and I give it all a good mix and our wasabi mayo is ready to wrap and roll. I mean rock and roll. Now our wrap needs some vegetables. So I'm going to be using some purple cabbage to make a slaw. And I will leave it raw because I like that crunch in the wrap. So slice that purple cabbage nice and fine and then transfer it into a bowl. Now we're going to slather it in our wasabi mayo and give it all a good mix. This will be creamy and delicious. The next thing I have to do is cook my chicken and I'm going to get my pan on the stove and heat up some olive oil and then in goes my chicken. Now I will cook this on a medium heat as I don't want the pan to be too hot otherwise the marinade will burn. So I actually just cover it with the lid and let it cook for about 4 minutes. After which I pop that lid open and flip the chicken. And now you just want to cook this till the liquid in the pan reduces and really coats that chicken very well. Remember, reducing the liquid will make it nice and sticky and intensify the flavors and that is going to coat our chicken and make it delicious. Once that chicken is cooked, it's time to remove it from the pan. And our chicken for the wrap is ready. And that looks good enough to eat on its own. Mmm, yummy. Now I'm going to slice up that chicken but you can leave it whole if you like and just look at that. Perfectly cooked and absolutely delicious. I'm going to be using some raw spring onion in my wrap so I'm going to just get my spring onion and chop it up nice and fine. I will also be using some pickled sushi ginger for my wrap which you can easily find in most grocery stores if not online. And as always, I'm just using store-bought wraps, but you can use any wrap that you like. I'm going to get my pan on the stove and heat up my wrap for about 60 seconds on each side till it's nice and warm. And then I'll get it off the pan. Time to assemble the wrap. And it's the purple cabbage slaw, the chicken, the cucumbers, the pickled ginger, the wasabi mayo, the spring onion and some black and white sesame seeds. And our wrap is assembled and ready to be rolled up. And it looks like my wrapping skills have not improved much. So after a bit of fumbling around, I managed to wrap things up and then I cut it right down the middle. And now you can sit back and enjoy looking at the cross section of that wrap. It's really a sight to behold. My friends, looks like this recipe is a wrap which means our Japanese inspired chicken wrap is ready to be tasted and we're gonna do just that. And if you like this recipe, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste our chicken wrap and I can't wait to dig in. So, I'm gonna do just that. Mmm. Oh, wow. I 
I love this. I love the creaminess of that wasabi mayo and that hint of sesame oil in the mayo and the crunch of the cabbage, the uh, acidity of the cucumbers, that little hit of ginger and I'm just like, hmm. Oh yeah, this is the real deal. Mm. So good. Anyway, I'm gonna go and eat this and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. I love, uh, love, I love wraps. What's not to love about it? Wasabi and ginger. I mean, not, blah, blah, blah. I forgot to untie my hair first. And what makes it Japanese? The drilling sound outside my house. Pickled sushi, ginger. Okay, I better stop now.